Now having an interactive birthday display like we do here is fantastic because it allows us to show off our students to parents and visitors alike. Uh, we like to focus a bit more on the parents here because they always like to see how their kids are doing, what they're learning and how they're progressing. So to make this more accessible to parents, what, we're, what our next step is, is to add in QR codes at the bottom of each month, which will link straight to Orasma in the App Store, which is free to download. So it's available to anybody with a smartphone. Now, one thing we ran into and we would do differently in hindsight is maybe put the calendars a bit lower because some parents, especially mums, struggle with uh, pointing their devices and being able to reach high enough to actually get uh, to watch the videos of their kids. Uh, another thing we'd like to mention is that you want to spread your images out more than we have otherwise it becomes a bit more difficult to recognize each individual image. So as you can see here in October we have many birthdays in October uh, which mean and all the faces are really close together and condensed so sometimes you end up triggering a video which you weren't intending to watch through Orasma. Uh, another thing we'd like to mention is uh, you want to use pictures with bold lines, colourful images. That way it's much more easier to recognise. So let's take Daisy's picture for example. Uh, it's got bold colours, thick lines, easily recognisable. You see Ray's picture to the side as beautiful picture as it is, it's much more difficult for Orasma to recognize and become a trigger. So in this example, even if you try and focus on Ray's picture, you might end up watching Daisy's video instead.